Divrei Hayamim Aleph, First Chronicles, Chapter Twelve. Following are the men who joined David at Ziklag while he was still being kept away from Shaul, the son of Kish. They were among the warriors who helped him fight his battles. They were archers who could use either hand to sling stones or shoot arrows from a bow. They were Shaul's kinsmen from Binyaim. Binyamin. Their leader was Achiezer, then Yoash, the sons of Shama'ah, the Givati, Yaziel, Pelet, the sons of Azmavet, Baraka, Yehu from Anatot, Yishmaya, the Givoni, one of the strongest of the thirty, and commander of the thirty, Yirmaya, Yakziel, Yochanan, Yozavad from Gadera, Eluzai, Yeramot, Balia, Shamaria, Shafatia, the Harufi, Elkana, Yishiyahu, Azarel, Yoezer, Yashovam, the Korhi, and Yoela, and Zavadiah, the sons of Yerocham from Gador. From the Gadi, a number of strong, brave, trained fighting men defected to David at the fortress in the desert. They could handle shield and spear. They were as fierce as lions, and they were as fast as deer on the hills. Ezer was the leader. Ovadiah was second, Eliav third, Mishmana fourth, Yermaya fifth, Atai sixth, Eliel seventh, Yochanan eighth, Elzavad ninth, Yermaya tenth, and Machbanai eleventh. These descendants of Gad were army commanders. The least of them was worth a hundred, and the greatest worth a thousand. These are the men who crossed the Yarden during the first month when it had overflowed all its banks and drove out all those who lived in the valleys, both to the east and to the west. From the descendants of Binyamin and Yehuda, a number came to David at the fortress. When David went out to meet them, he said, If you are coming to me in peace to help me, my heart will be bonded to yours. But if you are coming to betray me to my enemies, then, since I have done nothing wrong, may the God of our fathers see it and judge. Then the spirit covered Amasai, the chief commander, and he said, We are yours, David, on your side, son of Yeshai. Peace, peace to you, and peace to your helpers, for your God helps you. David welcomed them and made them senior officers. From Manasseh, some defected to David when he was about to go with the Pilishtim to fight against Shaul, but they ended up not helping them, because the rulers of the Pilishtim, after consultation, sent David away, saying, He will defect to his master Shaul at the cost of our heads. As he was on his way to Ziklag, those who defected to him from Manasseh included Adnach, Yozavad, Yadiael, Mikael, Yozavad, Elihu, and Tziltai, commanders of thousands from Manasseh. They helped David against the raiding band, for they were all strong, brave men who were commanders in the army. Indeed, reinforcements to assist David reached him daily, until there was a great army, like the army of God. Following are the numbers of those who came armed for war to David and Hebron, in order to transfer to him the kingdom of Shaul, according to what Adonai had said. The descendants of Yehuda bearing shields and spears numbered 6,800, armed for war. Of the descendants of Shimon, strong, brave men for war, there were 7,100. Of the descendants of Levi, there were 4,600. Jehoiada was the leader of the house of Aharon, and with him were 3,700. Also to Zadok, a young man, strong and brave, with 22 commanders from his father's family. Of the descendants of Binyamin, the kinsmen of Shaul, there were 3,000. For up until then, the majority of them had remained loyal to the house of Shaul. Of the descendants of Ephraim, there were 20,800 strong, brave men, well known in their father's families. Of the half-tribe of Manasseh, 18,000 were designated by name to come and make David king. Of the descendants of Yissachar, men who understood the times and knew what Israel ought to do, there were 200 leaders, and all their kinsmen were under their command. Of Zevalon, 50,000 men were fit for military service, experienced in war, and able to use all kinds of weapons. They were brave, and none was double-minded. 
Of Naphtali there were 1,000 officers, and with them 37,000 troops, having shields and spears. Of Dan, 28,600 were experienced in war. Of Asher, 40,000 men were fit for military service and experienced in war. On the other side of the Yarden, from the Reuvini, the Gadi, and the half-tribe of Manasha, there were 120,000 with all kinds of weapons for battle. All these soldiers who were experienced in war came to Hevrod wholeheartedly to make David king over all Israel, and all the rest from Israel were single-hearted in wanting to make David king. They remained there with David for three days, eating and drinking, for their kinsmen had prepared for them. Moreover, those who were near them, and even those as far as Yissachar, Zevalad, and Naphtali, brought food on donkeys, camels, mules, and oxen, baked goods, fig cakes, clusters of raisins, wine, oil, and oxen, and sheep in abundance, for there was joy in Israel. End of First Chronicles chapter 12